turning into a horrifying nightmare. Millions of Americans will simply not be able to retire, let alone live the retirement of their dreams, while previous generations were able to rely on a combination of social security, personal savings, and employer-sponsored plans to secure their future. All of these systems are breaking down at a staggering pace and no longer are a reliable form to build a solid financial foundation for retirement. Economists warn that many middle-class Americans will soon be disappointed to find out that they will have to work for much longer than they've planned. Research shows that the vast majority of U.S. workers reaching retirement age have only saved enough to provide an annual income of $3,600 when they will need about 20 times that amount to be able to afford basic expenses and skyrocketing healthcare costs. In today's video, we expose the dire straits of the retirement market right now and why this growing crisis is going to leave America in shambles. Before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. With the cost of living putting U.S. workers on the edge, the dream of retirement is looking more like a fairy tale unless you are filthy rich. Of course, we have all dreamed at one point or another about what our retirement might look like. Many people idealize stopping working by their mid-60s so they can spend their time engaging in other activities such as traveling, being with loved ones, and pursuing their hobbies and interests. Although every dream may be different, everything comes down to having a good financial cushion to fall back on. However, for the overwhelming majority of middle-class Americans, this is no longer within their reach. We all share the desire to have enough financial security to allow us to enjoy our lives without having to worry about money. But attaining that goal is getting increasingly harder, and in some cases, downright impossible. Retirement is certainly a topic that seems to be on everyone's mind, explains Colleen Charnitsky, content strategist at Digital Third Coast, a marketing firm that partnered with Provision Living on a new survey about retirement security. I think the idea of retirement itself goes hand in hand with the American dream, he says. It's woven into what we do every day when we're at work and essentially what we're working toward, he added. It's that goal we're all striving to reach. Sadly, there's certainly a disconnect in terms of expectations and reality, Charnetsky stresses. Short of a financial miracle or winning the next Powerball, middle-income earners might want to reassess their current and future financial goals in order to make their retirement dreams come to fruition. Attorney and former commissioner of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Kara M. Stein, analyzed the survey's data and recently exposed the dire straits of the retirement market right now. In today's economy, the ability to achieve financial security in retirement is worryingly tenuous for about 67% of Americans at or near retirement age. Since the 1940s, U.S. families have planned their retirements around the expectation of combining a pension, social security benefits, and personal savings to provide sufficient income for their golden years. The union of these three very important sources of income is typically referred to as the three-legged stool of retirement. It is rooted in the premise that any one of these legs isn't enough for standing alone, but that together the three legs can provide a solid foundation. The problem is that since 2000, each of these three legs has become wobbly, and the developments of the past couple of years have made the outlook even more concerning. The Social Security Trust Fund is facing major challenges, and its financial health is deteriorating faster than officials are acting. According to recent data released by the National Institute on Retirement Security, the fund will be depleted by 2030. That is only seven years away. 
Meanwhile, the availability of employer-sponsored retirement plans has also been declining. Few private sector workers today have access to a retirement account. Many public sector pension plans are facing severe financial problems. Given the scarcity of pensions and Social Security's imminent demise, we are headed toward a reality in which personal savings will be the most significant source of income for retirees. If these trends continue, the three-legged stool may look more like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Stein emphasized. We've moved from a collective retirement system to one in which each person is expected to go it alone, she added. This means that most parts of the U.S. population are not and may never be prepared. Estimates by NIRS show that a 65-year-old worker planning for a possible 30-year retirement will need savings of about $1.8 million to generate an annual income of $75,000 a year. In contrast, the agency also highlights that the median retirement savings of Americans between the ages of 55 and 64 is currently zero. Indeed, even for upper middle class workers who do have retirement accounts, their average balance is only $88,000, which would provide a mere $3,600 per year in retirement. In other words, they must have a balance 20 times bigger than it is right now. All of this indicates that more than two-thirds of income earners about to hit retirement ages will lack the resources to maintain their lifestyle in retirement and are potentially at risk of running out of money during their senior years. These risks are compounded due to longer life expectancy afforded by medical advances and lifestyle changes. The Transamerica Center for Retirement Studies reports that in 2023, 69% of retirees believe that Social Security will be their primary source of income during their retirement. But the AARP found that the maximum monthly Social Security benefit that an individual who files a claim for Social Security retirement benefits in 2023 can receive per month is $3,070 for someone who files at age 70, $2,661 for someone who files at full retirement age, and $2,109 for someone who files at age 62. And the only wobbly leg that's still standing can crash down at any moment. Personal savings generated through investments or employer-sponsored 401k plans are being threatened by rising volatility in financial markets and the potential for a historic stock market crash. The average balance in a 401k plan fell 26.5% in 2022, which can undoubtedly create stress and anxiety for those who are relying on these funds for their future. But according to the Department of Labor, only 49% of the workforce contributed to 401ks last year, and only 17% of Americans had another type of private retirement plan. It is extremely tough being a senior in the United States today. The costs of health care, housing, utilities, and food are all soaring. Making ends meet in old age is much more complicated than people realize, and workers between 55 and 64 with low savings levels may be forced to hold on to their jobs for another 11 to 20 years. No wonder why. 40% of America's workforce says it will take a miracle to retire securely, according to a survey by the Society for Human Resource Management. Here's how the experts at SHRM assess the retirement situation. In February, 66% of Americans said they are worried about how inflation will affect their ability to save for retirement. 74% of baby boomers and 73% of Generation X are worried about inflation's effect on their retirement savings. Moreover, 43% of respondents note that because of inflation, they have had to tap into finances that they previously had set aside for retirement. The negative impact of the surge in the cost of living 
is leaving elderly Americans an edge closer to poverty. The experts also pointed out that a large majority of us, 59%, are going to have to put off plans for retirement and more than a third of the workforce will never have enough money to be able to retire at all. The main culprit of this crisis is not inflation, as some may think. In 1980, American families had a median income of 75672 in today's currency, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. In 2023, that average has actually dropped to about $70,784. The slump in wage growth and the widening inequality gap are actually leaving Americans more financially insecure generation after generation. That is to say, not only are millennials and Generation Z paid less than their parents on a constant currency basis, but due to deteriorating economic fundamentals, their salaries no longer stretch as far. And when we consider the student debt that many young people are already carrying while they're only just starting their careers, the real possibility of ever reaching financial freedom seems quite utopian. Even though millennials and Generation Z may be the most educated generations yet, their pricey degree doesn't pay the same dividends when everyone you're competing for jobs with has one too. The World Economic Forum estimates that the United States had a retirement savings gap of $30 trillion. This is expected to continue growing by about $3 trillion a year. As former Commissioner Stein outlined in her analysis, the retirement crisis is a tsunami that is rapidly approaching. We can already see it, and indeed we are starting to feel its effects. The size and spread of the tsunami are likely to increase as it gets closer and closer to us. But when it finally hits the economy with its full force, it is safe to say that the flood of elderly Americans falling into poverty will leave this country in shambles. It is urgent that we address this problem before we are collectively underwater. We not only need our retirement system to be fixed, but our economic and monetary system as well. We're working more and we're receiving less, which then makes us consume less, leading to a more vulnerable economy. Monetary policies have plunged the value of our dollars, and now our money purchases less too. Jobs pay less than they once paid our parents and grandparents, so we achieve less than they did and cope with higher expenses for all bare necessities. No matter how hard we try, we continue to lose, and the good old days are just a very distant memory at this point. It feels like we're stuck in this nightmare where we can never see the end of our suffering, but now more than ever, it is time to wake up. What are your views? We look forward to receiving your comments and thank you for watching.